man right there, James Kirkland, fought Canelo Alvarez uh, back a few years ago, was knocked out in May of 2015, uh, then took a few years off. Uh, this is the resumption of a tumultuous career. Started at 27-0, looked like a, a world champion in the Sonny Liston, Mike Tyson mold, but uh, derailed several times. Time in prison, long layoffs, an unexpected loss, but now back. He's won two fights in his comeback. He's now 36 years old. Juan Macias Montiel is only 26 years old. He is six foot one. Kirkland at five foot nine, and you see right there at the bottom, and you see in the corners, James Kirkland, 34 and two. 30 of his 34 wins coming by knockout. He is in attack mode, but Juan Montiel, 21 wins, 21 knockouts. So if he wins, Joe, he knocks Woo! you out. How about that? Well, yeah, no, they <laughs> both they both have the same MO. You know, uh, Kirkland has got almost all knockouts, and Montiel has got almost all knockouts. Yeah, they've lost a few. But, you know, you know, almost nobody goes, gets through this game unscathed. Yeah, look at this again. 30 of 34 wins by knockout for Kirkland and all 21 wins by Montiel. Again, th they'll lose occasionally, but they will bring it. Montiel says he likes to come forward. Kirkland, he said, I like that too. So don't go anywhere. Here's Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Shrine Auditorium Expo Hall here in downtown Los Angeles, Premier Boxing Champions presents our next attraction in the ring, brought to you by TGB Promotions in association with Warriors Boxing and Samson Boxing, sponsored by GEICO. Introducing our three judges, scoring the bout from ringside, Rudy Barragan, Alejandro Rochin, and Ron Scott Stevens. All right, fans, here we go with the co-main event of the evening, a battle of hard-hitting middleweights in the ring scheduled for 10 rounds of boxing. Introducing you first on my left, he is fighting out of the red corner, wearing white trunks, hailing from Los Mochis, Sinaloa, Mexico. He weighed in at 161 and one half pounds, with a record of 21 wins, four losses and two draws, with all 21 wins coming by way of knockout. Here is the hard-hitting world rank contender introducing Juan Macias, Juanito And his opponent across the ring on my right, fighting out of the blue corner in this 10-round co-main event, wearing black and white trunks, fighting out of Austin, Texas. He weighed in at 162 pounds. His record stands at 34 wins, two losses, 30 big wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the acclaimed and hard-hitting southpaw contender known as the Mandingo Warrior, introducing James. Kirkland! The referee in charge now to give instructions, Jerry Cantu. Gentlemen, not this. Not this. Your trunk's a little bit high, so right here is going to be illegal. Gentlemen, you were giving your instructions in the dressing room. I want a good, clean, hard fight. You will obey my commands at all times. Estás fuera subiendo su instrucciones en el camarino. Don't go to watch this. Put your Get up to both of you. James Kirkland had a meteoric rise again, as I mentioned, 27 and 0 to start his career and knocking people out. And look at his layoffs, uh, two years, two years, five months, uh, going all the way down to four years after the loss to Canelo Alvarez. Uh, this year, really not his fault. He fought twice in 2019, had two knockout wins. That comeback halted by the pandemic. Ready? If you've seen his last couple ready, of fights, James? he is nowhere near Alisto. what he was, nowhere near as fast as he was when he was a younger man, but he still is on the attack, and this should be a fascinating round number one. And you don't lose that power necessarily when you get older. I mean, you may lose a little speed and a little this and that, but that power usually stays with you. Am I right, And Sean? immediately Kirkland is uh, pressing forward and puts Montiel back on the ropes. So, Sean, yeah, maybe Montiel thought, well, I'm going to trade, but is that, the, is that the smartest thing to do with James Kirkland early on? I mean, two things are going to happen. You're going to walk into something, and then, like, like Joe just said, you don't lose power. Ooh, left hook. Yeah. Just dropped Caught him. him on the way in, and Three. Kirkland is down Four. very early. Five. It's beautiful. Six. Hook. Yeah. Seven. Eight. Back to me. You ready, you ready to go? Come on, so Montiel, selective on the way in, and smart. Now a looping left hook over the top. 
And now he's got Kirkland backing up. Yeah, it was a, he was he was leaving the corner, making a turn, and, and threw a nice little hook, hit him on the temple, and dropped Kirkland. He's probably still a little woozy from that. But, see, Montiel shouldn't fool around like that. Go and, get him. Th yeah, but you still got to be smart against a puncher. You know, you, you don't want to run into something. Yeah. <laughs> Montiel tries the right hand, partially blocked. But again, you can see oh, the power. No, no, and able no, to hard no. the right hand. Kirkland wobbled again. Two right hands landed by Montiel. And he said, come get it. See, Montiel is trained out here in the United States for the first time. He usually uppercut, to... two uppercuts yeah, landed. No, right hand, oh. Kirkland is down, and this fight could be done. Oh. Kirkland does not look good. Four, I hope they stop five, it. He's really six, bad right now. Seven, yeah. eight. Walk to me. Walk to me. Go here. Kirkland is not on good Walk legs right now. He is not no, steady. Not. Here we go. You want some more? Oh, no. Okay, let's go. They're going to let this go a little longer. Ref it does not look good. Uppercuts landing. Still a minute left in this fight. And oh. oh, another uppercut again on Kirkland right hand, and that's it. It's over. Juan Macias Montiel gets a first round knockout, and that could be it for James Kirkland. Yeah, Montiel trained out here for the first. He said he was in better shape than he's ever been in his life. It really looked like it. That's the best I've ever seen Montiel look. Well, he was surgical, Joe, was the either? way he landed that first hook and the way he picked his spots. And after he landed that first That's shot, the... it was Montiel who was moving forward. Man, let me tell you. Well, like, again, he caught him with a nice little pivot move with a good hook, and that started the ball rolling downhill for for Kirkland, and then uh, Montiel just took over. But he was like precision-like, as you said. And that last combination that he threw, the uppercuts, right hands, it was like four or five right on the button. Yeah. Nobody could have taken those type of shots. That, that, for me, that was tough to see. I mean, when I, I turned pro, this is the guy I was I watching I and know. literally fearful, like, I don't want to fight this guy. And to see him now at this point is, you know, someone's got to tell you, like, hey, enough's enough. Yeah. At that, you know, at Sean, that moment right that, there. We had that right. discussion yeah. earlier, Sean. Go, go ahead, BK, sorry. No, I, I was saying, and the way he responded to the shots, it's more than just getting knocked out, right? I mean, yeah. the, what did you think? You're there ringside. What did you think about the way he responded you know, neurologically uh, to those shots? That's, that's the biggest problem. Neurologically, he's not all there. His body wants to continue, and even his heart wants to continue. He's telling Montiel, come on. But neurologically, he's not there, and he can't handle the fire anymore. Yeah, you could see by the way he stumbled. I'm glad you said that, Sean, because you could see the way he reacted. It's not the way he would react when he was a 25-year-old man. It's just Bro, here's very different. Here's the first knockdown. knockdown. It's a quick right hook or, or left hook. Yeah. It's It was so quick, I hardly saw it, and then he goes down. Yeah. Right on the so temple. He, he started out softball and then turned his stance, yeah. if you see, as yeah. he was leaving the corner yeah. and dropped that left hook on him. Yeah. And, and when you get hit on the temple, you're really woozy. Here's the second knockdown. Now he's just at will. That left uppercut really set. There's two in a row. And here, one more left uppercut. And then that right hand. That and right left hook. hook. The yeah. mouthpiece came out. It was over. He got hit with three or four shots yeah. that he really didn't need to get hit with. Yeah. The right, and that wasn't even the end of it because, remember, he gets up and says, come on, let's go. You know, so that wasn't the end of it right there. You know, and basically, fellas, he's getting hit with every shot. I mean, yeah. the uppercuts, hooks, uh, straight right hands, everything is hitting. And, you know, BK, what it is, it's, it's, the, it's his reaction time and, and, and his eyes. They're not there anymore. And then right here is just one more time with the uppercut. I'm like, I'm down. I'm, I don't want to see it anymore. That's right. And, I, and I'm glad, Red, you know, the ref stepped in there. Of course, he went down, but. You knew the next combo he got yeah. hit with it was going to happen. Yeah, and I, I knew the ref wasn't going to stray too far because he knew it, was, That's it right. was about it. No, no, exactly. You know, Jerry Kent is a great ref. And look, you got to give the veteran a chance. you yeah. got to give him a chance. Yeah. It's early. A lot of guys, first round, you get hurt a lot easier if you get hit with a good shot in the first round. But that was just a blowout, and Jerry did a good job there. I agree with you, Joe. In fact, I mean, we thought, hey, it's all but over. But if you're the man in the ring, I understand why Jerry let him come out for one one more time. Maybe yeah. not everyone will agree with that. What do you think? Yeah. Well, I, you know, look, I mean, I think we called We all said that's it right there. Yeah. We knew if he did get up and let it continue, he was going to get blasted with, but, with the last series of punches. But, you know, bottom line was, would I have faulted him if he stopped him after the second time he went down? No. Once upon a time, James Kirkland would get up and, and knock out and, Monty and Alexander. Exactly. Once upon a time, like he James did with Kirkland. Pedro, you yep. know, right? Yep. Yep. Well, yep. Well, we've seen Pops possibly the end. Again, yeah, Kirkland with wins over Alfredo Angulo, Glenn Tapia, who was unbeaten at the time. But uh, tonight it's Juan Macias Montiel, and uh, this could be the last time we see James Kirkland in the ring, a knockout victim here in L.A. tonight.
Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of 1 minute 56 seconds in round number one. A referee in charge, Jerry Cantu, stops the contest. He is the winner by way of knockout, Juan Macias, Juanito Montiel. The nephew of Fernando Montiel, former world champion. And we go back through this fight, and this was, again, it was a, a surgical precision from Montiel. But, you know, it's easy to look back and say, well, Kirkland was done. He had nothing left in this fight. But Sean Porter, it was up to Montiel to show Kirkland that he had nothing left in this fight. And he took it right out of him in the first round. I mean, this fight did not go the way I expected to. I didn't exactly. expect it to be this fast, and I didn't expect it to go not in Kirkland's favor. Uh, the very first punch that he hit him with started it all in it. And it just, it didn't slow down from there. Matiel, he found his spot with that hook, that right hook. You see it right here. This is the end of it right here. These are the uppercuts. I mean, about three or four of them in a row. And then right over the top. And then this is how you finish it right here. Yeah, yeah Joe, he saw, did his job. You, you right? saw the mouthpiece come out yeah. right there. But what, what great accuracy. One of the yeah. toughest punches to throw is that one right there, that left uppercut and make it count. And then follow with you that. See, yeah, that pick right, them up. Right hand, exactly. And then finish them up and take it yeah. off. I mean, that's, that's really efficient and very devastating punching right there. Wow. And just Montiel, uh, yeah, uh, living up to his reputation. Now 22 wins, all 22, uh, by the way, of knockout.